Uh, our next contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. One That's right, I'm back with Dennis with Square Circle Sirens and this match between Lucisto and Faye Jackson has gotten underway before the bell has even rung. Lucisto made sure to attack Faye as she was about to provide a milkshake for the 1%. I know you must be so blessed to be that sitting next to me. I know it's so hard to be next to Kevin Ford. You're not wrong, man, you're not wrong, I gotta tell you. Award. Such a but this is I don't know, this is the second anniversary of, oh my god, we're getting dirty real quick. This is the second anniversary of Faye Jackson's professional wrestling debut, and uh, happy anniversary, Faye. Here's one of the toughest women in the world, Blue Fisto, right up in your business. Look, I mean, even as a male, her milkshake would bring you to the, bring you to the yard, but... I mean, in all honesty, I'm worried about her. Uh, as you were talking about before, the history between these two is short but bitter. There was a massive Survivor Series match between Team Faye going up against Team Veda. Lufisto was drafted by her PAWS tag team member, Jordan Grace, who we saw earlier tonight advance to become a part of the Commonwealth Cup. And when Lufisto got eliminated, Rage got the best of her. Turned on her teammates and attacked Faye Jackson, and that leads us to tonight here at Cuban Circle. And look, I talked to Faye Jackson before this match. She is ready for me to take this I'm going to be honest, I mean, it looks like she's going to take advantage of her whichever way she can. I, I, I don't believe it because I don't think anyone's ever ready for Lucisto. Lucisto is one of the god parents of independent wrestling in the United States for women, and she is a hard draw for any competitor. She's just got the experience advantage. And she's ruthless. Look at this. Oh, going right after the arm of Faye Jackson. And this is what I was worried about. I mean, they think this right here is where Lufisto is just dangerous. I mean, this is something that I don't even know if Farron could handle, let alone Faye Jackson. Yeah, she's going to break her arm. That's pure and simple. She's going to break this woman's arm. Oh, my goodness. Stretching her over that ring pole. I need the rack to do a job here. I mean, this is just getting serious. She is going to rip a woman's arm out of her socket in front of several hundred paying customers. Just because she can, and that's the issue. This isn't just a woman who comes out here for She comes out here for business. She comes out here to break bones, and that's what she's doing. And now you, you wanted the ref to do his job, but the job wasn't started. The bell just rang, Dennis. That was all before the match even began. And Jason, he says there's a problem. This goes to show you that Lucissa doesn't care about this match. This isn't just about a win. This is simply about hurting Faye Jackson. Over something that wasn't even Faye Jackson's fault. Listen, everybody gets into this business for different reasons, Dennis. People get in because they want money. People get into it because they want power. People get into it because they want fame. And some people just need an opportunity to take out their aggression. If that's what Lucissa is here for, it's done her very well. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a feature. Look, I mean, not even the new gear and new look of Faye Jackson is saving her from all of these wicked shots and these wicked arm attacks by Lucissa. No, if anything, that shine is making her more of a target. They said she's the wounded owl. 
You know, an owl's gonna be attracted to something that shines brightly in the night, and Faye Jackson has made herself a target. And maybe that's just as simple as that. Maybe Faye Jackson has made herself a target here in Nova Pro. She's one of the most beloved competitors on the roster. They share a fairly similar body type. I think she still wants this spot. Yeah, did you just see that? She doesn't even care for Faye Jackson's owner guard. It's one thing to step in a wrestling match. She just slams her face first through the ropes. This is where we just so it's so dangerous. Faye Jackson, I don't even know if she knows what she signed up. She's not supposed to care about her opponent's well-being. She's supposed to win the match. And right now, she's going to. That's what she's supposed to do, Dennis. She's doing exactly what she is doing to win. She says there is a difference between winning a match and simply trying to destroy a team and being. It doesn't have to be, very clearly. Obviously, I mean, she's taking everything in Faye Jackson's arsenal to even just try to get Lisa so down. Oh, look at that agility, though! Faye Jackson went for some that flip! And that lasted for about 20 seconds. A kick right to the face. And we got a cover right there! And look, if that doesn't tell you something, though, most of could have easily been down for that, but Faye Jackson kicking out at two, now back on the arm for Lisa. Who is so in this three? Jackson, he's giving up. He's, 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 no one yeah. questions Faye Jackson's toughness. I might question her intelligence for getting back up, but I am impressed by it. She's a fierce competitor. There's a reason this crowd loves her. She's beloved by the regular folks. She's beloved by the 1%, but she's not so, man. She's just not. Look, but it can be this crowd behind us right now that could be the reason that Faye Jackson is able to pull up a huge upset victory. I mean, it would be quite the victory if Faye Jackson is able to get one over. But even you acknowledge that in her house, in a place that she has helped build, it's still an upset if she wins. That just walking into this building, Luke Fisto is the person you expect to win this match. But look at this, right now, Faye Jackson is coming back with goes to show you Jason Heat. Even if I have expectations of Luke Fisto winning, Faye Jackson is not going to make it easy for any of us. She's still coming back into this. Nothing taken away. Oh, there she goes! Look, it was that Samoan drop on Cash. Put out Lita Scott to get her choked out right after this. Faye Jackson needs to capitalize right here to be able to put out Lufisto. All due respect, Veda Scott's a very different body type than Lufisto. And that amount of weight going down to Veda Scott is going to do different things than someone like Lufisto. It's a great move, but I don't think it's enough to put her out. Yeah, but it was still enough to take down Lufisto, which we haven't seen at this match. Faye Jackson needs to capitalize here if she wants to pull out of this race. I completely agree. If she wants to win this match, she's got to take this moment and make it count because it is clear that she has done some damage to the Fisto's inside. And I will say this, it looks like Faye Jackson has woken up. And it's about time Faye Jackson needs to do something and she is taking her all around this ring and introducing her to all of these friends. Uh, you know, we all make friends where we can. You know, something new from Faye here, haven't seen this before. What they going for? Oh! Uh, almost, almost not all of them. Her arms, her arms getting out, Jason. I mean, look at this, but it's so bad. You can just see, though, she's starting to tire. Those had a lot more on them at the beginning. And as she went through the 10 punches, she just couldn't get the same amount of strike force on all of them as she went. Two. Oh, now my Lucifer here is still not enough to put her away. Faye Jackson has to stay on top of Lucifer. This is the first time we've seen Faye really take an all. She's going to have to do something really special to put down Lucifer. Lucifer is a formidable, fierce, and frightening opponent. And Faye Jackson is going to have to here bust comes out something. Special. Oh, her arm getting out again. I consider that special. You're absolutely right. Oh, oh, fighting the punch, but only a two count. That's what I'm saying. She'll do anything to win, and I respect it. I really do. Respect something that I mean, they'll be because wrong. some people want to win. Yeah, but it's Faye Jackson. How can you be so vicious against Faye Jackson? It's not about being vicious against Faye Jackson. It's respecting what Lucisto has to offer and the level to which she's not going to let anybody put her down. Look, this is game. Maybe you should be next to Kevin Ford because clearly all you're here for is just simply being biased against people who don't deserve. I don't think that's true. Here we go. It brings all the boys to the yard, and sometimes it also causes concussions. That is a triple spud milkshake right in the corner. And we over, got right here. Oh, Lufisto kicking out. Lufisto says, I drink your milkshake. I drink it up, and there will be blood. Yeah, but look, I don't know if Lufisto could be the same way that she was earlier, and this could be the spot that Faye Jackson takes it over. There's not a single person who enters the Nova Pro ring and leaves the same person they were when they walked into it. This takes a lot out of people, and oh, all that matters is who gets the W. Going back to that arm. Oh no. Oh, oh my god! All the way I said she's gonna rip a woman's heart out of her pocket. Faye 
have to stop. I mean, there's simply just no way out of that. No, none whatsoever. No upset tonight. But, but you simply cannot knock Faye Jackson here. Faye Jackson did not just give it her all. He showed that Faye Jackson can go the same level that Baron can, and she could be that close to a victory. You give her one more chance. Faye Jackson is phenomenal. I'm never going to say that Faye Jackson isn't phenomenal. I'm just saying that if Faye Jackson is phenomenal, how freaking good is Lou Fisto, baby? I can't even knock Lou Fisto there. And I mean, in all honesty, if she keeps coming back to Nova, the woman's locker room is on Nova.